welcome back. Today is the second day of our challenge, Urban Decay, higher priced versus Essence, lower priced. Just to give you a quick comparison of the prices, the Urban Decay foundation that we used was the Hydromaniac foundation. This retails for about $40. Today, we're going to use the Essence Pretty Natural which retails for $6.99. So I was able to purchase three different colors of the Essence for less than one of the Urban Decay. And today we're gonna use the medium color, which is, looks like 70. Yeah, color number 70 is what we're gonna be using today. And then for our eyeshadow palette, the last time we used the Urban Decay Naked Wild West palette, this retails for approximately $58. And today we're going to be using one of the Essence Travel palettes. This is Chow Venezia, which retails for $9.99. So I was able to purchase all six of the different Essence Travel palettes for the same price as the one Urban Decay palette, which gives you a whole lot of different options, but we'll see how the quality compares. We're gonna use the Chow Venezia because it has some of the similar colorways to the Urban Decay palette, and then that way we can try to create a similar look. Now their colors don't have names, so I will just be showing you which color I'm using and not telling you what it's called. But basically, to match up what we did with Urban Decay, we're gonna stick in these neutrals here, then with just a little pop of this turquoise color in the center. Everything else I put on today is gonna be exactly the same and applied exactly the same way as we did with the Urban Decay. I have prepped my face, same as with the Urban Decay, with the matte screen sunscreen and the Milani eyeshadow primer, and I have on my city lips. But that's all I have going on, and we'll get right to it. So first impressions, it goes on very similarly to the Urban Decay. It's a medium, maybe light to medium, buildable coverage. It pretty much did the same thing with my pores on my nose, skip over them just a little bit. So we'll just go in there and get those a little bit better. Make sure those are all good. And again, I could build up some areas, but I did not do that with the Urban Decay. So to be fair, we are not going to build up any additional areas. We're just going to leave it where it is and go from there.
So now we're going to take the lighter color here and again use that as a base to go over the entire lid. And then we're going to take our crease brush and we're going to go into this little darker brown color. Just a little, tap it off and go right up here. Next, we're going to take our two sided brush and we're going to use the little side and we're going to go into this really dark chocolate over here just to get the outer corners darkened. Up into the crease a little bit and use the fluffy side to blend. They look fairly even, so I'm going to take a little bit more of the darker brown color and go underneath, just like we did with the Urban Decay to keep it as even as possible. Corners are blended well. Now we're going to take our little tiny brush and go into this turquoise color. Again, just like we did with the Urban Decay. We're going to go right in the corners here. Do that top and bottom. Just to where the brown stops. First impression of the eyeshadow palette the colors are actually more pigmented than I expected and they went on powdery they probably would have a little more fallout maybe if you weren't careful enough to tap them off so make sure you tap them off but they blended actually I felt like they blended better than the Urban Decay palette I had a little more trouble blending that one out this one, they went on really smooth and powdery, blended out really nicely. I think the lighter color is not quite as pigmented, maybe, as the Urban Decay one. So I'm just going to go a little bit more with the lighter one just to make sure that my under brow is highlighted properly. And yeah. So far, I really, really like this palette by Essence. I've tried some of the other travel palettes and I like to them as well. This is my first time with this one, but I really like it. And I think a lot of the colors in here are dupes for some of the ones in the Naked palette. We'll see how it wears throughout the day. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this look and then I will be coming back at probably a five hour interval and then at the end of the day to see how they look and I will also give you a quick peek out in the sunlight so you can see the actual finish on the face and see how that compares. 
and then we will wrap it up and see what we think. So here is our finished look with the Essence foundation and eyeshadow palette. See you guys in a little bit for check-in. Bye! everyone this is a check-in on the essence foundation and eyeshadow palette it's actually been about seven hours because I ended up having to go into my office today now I had to wear a mask off and on for about four hours and I still feel like the foundation is mostly there it's maybe rubbed off a little bit on my nose because of the mask I'm a little bit shiny in my t-zone but other than that, it seems to be holding up pretty well. Uh, the eyeshadow is all still there. So I think so far so good. I'll check in with you at the end of the day. Bye now. Hi everyone. This is the 12 hour end of the day check in on the Essence Foundation and Eyeshadow Palette. I think despite several hours of mask wear, the foundation has held up very well. As you can tell, it hasn't really rubbed off even around my nose. It hasn't settled into any lines. All the coverage is still there and the eyeshadow is still very visible. Even the little bit of pop of color that I put on the inside corners, despite rubbing my eyes several times, it is all still there. I think this was definitely a successful day in the Essence makeup.